woman. Uh, this is dealing with the old hoes. But I just want to skip down to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I could read the whole thing. I'm just gonna get to the point. First Timothy five and ten. Well reported of for good works. If she have brought up children, if she have lodged strangers, if she had washed the saints' feet. None of these hoes gonna wash the saints' feet. They're like, oh hell no. And she had relieved the afflicted, these hoes are doing the afflicting. And she had diligently followed every good work. These hoes have diligently sucked every cock. <laughs> but the younger widows refused. For when they had begun to wax wanton against Christ, they will marry, having damnation, because they have cast off their first faith. And with all they learn to be idle, listen, wandering from house to house, mm. and not only idle, but tattlers also, and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. That's bad right there, that's bad right there. Uh, uh, instigators of uh, house, they, they, uh, gossipers. Uh, uh, what you call it when you break a house up? They, yeah, uh, 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 house breaking hoe. Yeah, uh, that's right. A, ho know, a, ho a house breaking hoe. Cause they see you got a wife and you're happy, got kids, that bitch come in and like the scripture says, speaking things they are not. And they always talk to their friends like, oh, you need to leave that nigga. Mm -hmm. He ain't no goddamn good. He controlling you. Yeah. You he, he too mean to you. You need to get you a, you need to get somebody that you can control. Right. Didn't he cheat on you a few times? You know? Yeah. All this bullshit. Just whispering in their ear. Mm -hmm. Girl, don't you know you can get a job? You can do your own goddamn thing. Yeah. He's like, you don't need no man. What it says, I can do bad by myself. So you just got to get you a dildo. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Putting some rubber, some plastic, putting some petroleum oil product up in their pussy and shit. Yeah, he's talking, Rubbers you can't, and you can't say we ain't lying. These women have sex parties <laughs> where they sell toys to each other. Yeah, they yeah. play with them. Yeah, that's yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah. then they, yeah. They, have, they have sex with each other. Yeah. They'll fuck each other in the ass with a strap on. Woo! I mean, that's very common. Woo! It's all over the internet. Woo! That ain't stupid. Here's some foul. We live in reality. We know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, we ain't ignorant of the what's the wilds and the devil. <laughs> the wild. Now, let me read this uh, part right here. I will therefore that the younger women marry. Listen, the younger women marry. That means you get with a man and you stay with him. Younger women marry, not run around being hoes saying, I'm not ready to settle down yet. No, a young woman is actually should get with an older man. Okay, a young woman should get with an older man. You know what I'm saying? Who got some sense? A man and a lord. You need to get a man with understanding. With like understanding and wisdom. Yeah, you give your daughter to a man of understanding. That's the, that's the Bible instruction. Oh, I got a scripture for that in the you book know? of Jeremiah when it commands us to give our daughters to uh, the other men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That yep. we may be fruitful and multiply. Yep. Yep. And the woman ain't got no yep. choice who she marries either. That's right. It ain't, it ain't no choice. Okay. They got a choice in this devil's world. That's why, why they ain't got no man. Why can't I look for that scripture? You know, that's why they ain't got no man. They wonder why every man they going to ain't shit working out. The Lord ain't following you. The Lord ain't supporting your wicked adultery. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Man to man to man to man. But they going to the bitch, their friends. Oh, honey, this ain't going to work out. It ain't working out. I don't know what's wrong with these sorry ass niggas. I mean, it's speaking crazy, man. Let me read this. The rest of this. It said that the younger woman married, bear children, and these hoes, that they'll kill their baby. Okay, all these young women, the government that encourages you to get abortion. Right. You, your, your own mother, if you get a woman, if a young woman's 16, 17 years old gets pregnant, their own mother will can, uh, tell them to have an abortion or make them have an abortion. Okay? Instead of just having a child and taking care of them and loving them. You evil motherfuckers. A young woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak repro reproachfully. For some are already turned aside after Satan. So all these young women out here, they're all whores. They're all turned aside to Satan. Okay, well, this is the kingdom of Satan. Y'all know America is the kingdom of Satan. Look for that scripture, Jeremiah. Yeah, these stupid ass bitches go there when they're supposed to have babies young. These stupid bitches, they're they career minded, so they wait till they're in their late thirties and forties to have a baby. But like the scripture they says, hey, your old ass can bring out a weak ass baby. Like the scripture says, you know. 
Let me get that. I don't have that shit. It's too long. What's up, homie? Oh. You love America. I see you're American guitar. Hey. You're a great American. Great American? I don't know about great. I say fuck America. America is the king of the state. Alright, babe. There ain't no mind about that one. Right. There you go, this is a pocket for 5 and 50. And I ask and say, seeing thou has now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before thee for our mother, of whom thou hast told me that she is young, draw now nigh unto age. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that beareth children, and she will tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? And she shall answer thee, they that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age, an old ho, an you know, old ho. You know all these women out here, a bunch of fools, a bunch of sluts, some, you know who the, uh, the CDC is? Oh, population of the people is an old number. Okay, the numbers only come out every four years. Over half of the population of the United States are affected with venereal disease. Okay. So half, so half these bitches, when you get with one of these hoes out here, you, you got you gotta do a test first. Half of them got warts. They got they got warts. Can I, can I say they one got thing? Syphilis, one thing. Gonorrhea. Can I say one thing though? Go ahead. Real quick. If you're trying to speak the word of the Bible, oh, shit. you should not call them the whores. Who's that scripture? The Bible. Bitches. Scriptures call them whores and bitches. Who's that scripture? Hey, can't get do that. Uh, uh, I can't get I'm so funny with it. The Bible calls you one of the whores and bitches. It also says to be respectful. And it says no faggots got good pussy. Where's the scripture? Don't say be respectful of God. The, the Bible said there is no respect of person. None. Check this out. None. Ecclesiastes 26 and 25. Listen to this. A uh, shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. The Bible says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. A female dog is a bitch. So the Bible calls these hoes bitches. All right, that's the word of the most high. I ain't gonna read the rest of it. None of them same face around here. And a single same face woman out here. All these women are whores. Right. And they that are born in the time of age whom the moon failing are otherwise. So these old bitches, career-minded hoes, you having babies with autism and I mean babies come out all fucked up, weak in their ass, kick the kindergarten. Crack babies. The Lord instructed these nasty bitches to have babies when they're young. They go, they go through, they go through their youth being whores. Polluting the shit out of their goddamn pussy, man. Like the scripture says, man, the, the, you know, she can't return back to you because she's been polluted. Spraying her legs, opening her legs from one nigga after one nigga. And they all busting nuts in her back. And they take on a soul, a, a wicked spirit from all those wicked niggas. Yep. And they carry through low life. See them wicked hoes over there. Them hoes. They all done did some porn. <laughs> Uh, that's true though. They look like prime porn stars. Who can make the best porn? All you gotta do walk down the street with his guitar because he wants to look cool. He can't play that fucking guitar, I guarantee you. I guarantee you I'll play that guitar five billion times better than he ever could. That's why his wicked ass was running down the street with his tail from his leg. He can't be a man and defend his gospel. His bullshit gospel. He ain't got no gospel. He got a tattoo cross right. Who the fuck tattoos their own fucking head? He got a tattoo on his face. So you got something got to be wrong with your brain to get a tattoo on your face. How stupid can you be? That's bad enough to get a tattoo on your arm or your ankle. But on your fucking face? Right, right, right. stupid? Probably about to go have sex with his dog. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta find this script. I know it's in Jeremiah 37. I'm gonna find it. Okay, I'm gonna finish reading the rest of this. Consider thou therefore also how that you are less stature than those that were before you. Yeah, you're right. So the people that lived 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago, 
They were stronger than us. Superhuman. Taller than us. Yeah, right. Like King David. The Bible said King David killed tens of thousands of people. Woo. So what kind of man does it take to kill tens of thousands? You, you, know got, you gotta be a bad motherfucker, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, was, they used to be giants on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Even, sure. even the Bible says Saul uh, was taller than everybody else. Yes. And David was be uh, better in combat than him. Yep, yep, yep. Consider thou therefore also how that... Well, it's fine. And so are they that come after you less than ye, as the creatures which now begin to be old and have passed over the strength of you. So these weak bastards, there ain't no manly shit popping off no more, man. Everybody's a bunch of fucking faggots. The women <laughs> ruin over the men now. They're the new man. That's in Jeremiah, yep. I get that too. Yep, the women are the new man. And the men are the new woman. And they love to have it that way. It's okay. A bunch of freak, a freak nation. A nasty ass freak nation. Freak nasty. Read uh, Amos, uh, if you can, uh, while we're waiting, uh, Amos 7 and 17. I'm going to find a scripture. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. I knew I was close. Okay. Okay. Amos 7 and 17. No, Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus said the Lord. All right, if I thus, Therefore, thus said the Lord, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city. And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. And Israel shall up surely go into captivity forth of his land. So yeah, so the Bible clearly says that a wife shall be a harlot in the city, okay? And that guy tried to say, you can't call these women hoes and whores. He's like, you holding the Bible calling women whores. Have you ever read the Bible? The Lord calls these bitches whores left and right. That's a common theme of the Bible. You look stupid, man. You got no wisdom at all. But look, I got this scripture that proves that uh that we can give our uh like oh, no, I guess that's it. like if I got some daughters, I should give my daughter to a man of the Lord. She she ain't got no choice about the matter. You know what I mean? Watch this. This is Jeremiah 29 and 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, dwell in them, plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. That's definitely the goddamn curse. They ain't that happen. Well, in the kingdom, it's going to happen again. Right. It said, Take ye wives and beget sons and daughters. Listen to this. And take wives for your sons. Now listen carefully. And give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there and not diminished. Mm. So it says clearly to give your daughters to husbands. It don't say to let the woman have a choice. <laughs> Just say, say, let your daughter go out and test the water. It don't say that. You know, you get a woman a choice and it, America is the result of that. Well, she's going to take a 50 different choices. You're damn right. You know what I mean? You're damn right. That's why there's no marriage. There's no, there's no, ah, there's no sanctity in that no more. There's no, you know, it's looked up down upon to be settled down with a, 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 a woman or a man, you know? Ah, it's looked down upon. So the divorce level is skyrocketing. What is it, 90% of black women are uh, uh, single? Yeah. What? But at night, not single. They're married to the state. <laughs> the state is their daddy. Oh, you, Barack go. Obama's their husband. There you go. There you go. You know what I mean? That's the reality, right there. That's the reality. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they all, they all gonna get that microchip too. <laughs> because the, that's the reason. <laughs> right, well, the government's trying to get as many people as possible on food stamps. Section 8, uh, welfare, benefit, whatever, all that shit. So they gonna get you dependent on the government. So when that time comes and they start microchipping people, then they're not gonna pass them, they're gonna take that chip. Because if you don't take that chip, you ain't gonna get no benefits. Because your EB, that, there's gonna be no more EBT cards. It's all gonna be on a microchip. There's gonna be no more credit cards. It's gonna be on a microchip.
Skywalker runs over a crowd of people. Say some fat motherfucker that just had a heart attack from eating too much pork. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> was that? I can't remember. That shit messed up my brain. It's crazy out here. Yeah. That shit fucked my spirit up. Oh, that no one. I got another scripture for you while he's talking about these nasty ass hoes. And uh Oh yeah. It's like That's we say right. like right. we would say now the women got more power than the men. Because in America, it is a one you can get a woman pregnant and she can have an abortion and the man has no say so. When here the woman is murdering your seed and that's your child. Mm. And a woman should get put to death for that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She should get put to fucking death. And that's murder. You don't let murderers walk free. You should put her to death and the doctor to death that yep, performed yep. the abortion. Yep, yep, and both yep. get put to death. Yep. But, in, a, but you, in America, the government will pay for your abortion. And the, the government want to kill all you people. Like Barack Obama, if he's such a great uh, black, a great black man, and he does so much good for black people, <laughs> then why does he support abortion of black children? The logic don't make sense. Fuck logic, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck common sense. Here you go, this is Ecclesiastes 23 and 22, 21. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband, and bring it in and hair by another. For first, that's evil. Yeah, for first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, and the law is what? You have sex with another man, you're supposed to get put to death. That's right. Go ahead. Both of them motherfuckers, the man yeah, and the woman. Both of them. For first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High Yahweh, and secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband, the adultery. Yeah, that's, a, that's some evil shit, man. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery and brought forth children by another man. So that's disgusting when a woman has uh, multiple babies' daddies, and then the government will, will reward these whores with child support. Here it is, you can go play the harlot, go be a whore, have sex with uh, 10 different men, have children by each one of them, and get rewarded for and it. And I've seen that too. That's I've a, that's that a game, these yep. hoes is running game. I've seen that when women have nine, 10 kids, like nine, 10 different baby daddies. And then here it is, if you're a man, if you get angry over that, and you go kill that bitch, What's wrong with you? you'll get locked up. We're getting angry, period, because we can't kill Esau's world. Well, just but saying. just to get fucking angry. But to, to do what OJ did. Yeah. And like we always say what OJ Simpson did was a righteous act. Did y'all know when OJ Simpson killed his wife for adultery? That was a righteous act according to the Bible. Okay? You got some nice skin, don't you? You can't be sure that was a bitch. You never know. You never know. Yeah, these motherfuckers are so you weird. You never know, man. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You, you, you gotta, you gotta feel a bit before you start doing these days. Now, let me grab your shit real quick. You know. Let me read this. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord had created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. That's a new thing. Yeah, that's why they found head of household. They the, they the mom, they tell you, they the mama and the daddy. Right, you ain't got no say so when it comes to the woman. Mama and daddy, huh? Here you go. I, I, like I showed that you that book. Uh, you gotta pick that, that picture that I sent you. That's not on your uh, yeah, tablet, got, is it? Yeah, it's on my phone, though. Yeah. Bust that's that ass. Shit. Bust that shit out. That's some bad shit. I don't know if that's it's on my camera. I'm not editing no video, I can tell you that right now. Fuck that shit. I ain't got time to hit it. Oh, they ain't gonna show up. It's kind of boring. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, because I was... I seen this uh, book that they was... A little children's book. They made a little 
these devils made a book for children to what was it called? Our mother's house. And on the on, on the cover of the book was two lesbians with a, a bunch of children, which were all different colors too. It was two white women married together on the cover of this children's book with like a little black baby. Rainbow Coalition type shit. Yeah, like the Rainbow Coalition. So they, they, they teaching your children in your schools that it's okay to be a lesbian, it's okay to be a faggot. That's right. Okay, it's, that's what they're teaching your children in these schools. Little Israelites. Yeah, so y'all y'all should have never came to America. They're going to spoil your children's minds. You know that? They're going to poison your children. You better go back to Central America. They don't play that faggot shit down there in Mexico. No. I was just hearing somebody on the radio talking about it. Because they got that real macho spirit. What they call that machismo? Like over there, like, oh, it's mainly America is where they embrace that faggot shit, man. If you a faggot down in Jamaica, they'll kill your ass, man. Even the Africans will put you to death for being a faggot. Even Africa, yeah. Yeah. Deuteronomy 22 and 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they, then they shall both of them die. Oh, that's like, that's like, I'll give the Muslims credit on one thing. They get that they, they put an adulterous woman to death. Immediately. <laughs> I, they got multiple ways that they'll stone that bitch. I, I seen them, they'll bury a bitch in a hole and, and cover her up just so her head and neck showing and everybody come out and stones of that bitch. Could you imagine the look in that bitch's eyes right before them stones hit that hole? Ooh, horror. And it, she ain't gonna die right from the first hit. Yeah, this is gonna knock some sense into it. Doing. So I'll give y'all the Muslims credit just for that one thing. <laughs> And they'll kill a faggot. So. That's all it shows you. They knew some of the shit that ever been, been around Israel. Right? Well, that, well, that's because they in that land. Yep. And that's yep. been the customs over there for thousands and thousands of years. Yep. Coming from the Israelites. And that's why they're raising up against Esau. Esau's trying to bring democracy over there. And you know what democracy is oh, all about. Democracy all about you being, do, do what you want to do. I was watching this video on YouTube a couple years back. And there's some white preacher out here with a picture of uh, Jesus like, well, yeah, Jesus, the fake Jesus. He had this picture, and some Arab came out and said, no, that's Esau. That's Esau. Right, right. That's the devil. Oh. You know, Jesus didn't look like that. You know what I'm saying? And he knew what that, that preacher was teaching some bullshit. That's right. Uh, not all Arabs are Muslims either. A lot of them believe in the New Testament. There you go, Deuteronomy 22 and 22. If a man be found lying with a hot woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die. Both the man that lay with the woman That's a beautiful script. and the woman, so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. Yeah, that's, that's worthy of this. So it's funny, kind of funny, he didn't mention every nation. Well, read that last part again. It said they're going to put evil away from Israel. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman so that's you putting away evil okay you're making the world a better place all right when, when a woman gets killed for adultery that's a good thing but actually we ain't telling nobody to put no one to death because there's like a slim chance some of these hoes might repeat. so they supposed to be given that chance <laughs> I mean, like you got well, the one, I mean, like that woman that John the Eighth chapter. Right, right. The Lord forgave her for, her, and she committed. She got caught in the very act, mm -hmm. but the Lord forgave her because she repented. You right. know what I mean? So why, why, when she was being condemned by other adulteresses? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's because a, a hoe is quick to call another woman a hoe. Yep, yep, you know what yep, I mean? Yep, yep. Like they ain't any better. You remember the part with the, the men that were like one the stoner? Yeah. The Lord came up and he knelt down and started writing on the ground. Yeah, he yeah. was writing their sins down. Right. Bunch of adulterers stood down, so. Yeah, but probably faggots too. Fag, yeah. yeah, he's writing, he's probably writing alone. Yeah. <laughs> and they were ready to kill somebody. Yeah, but yeah, we ain't yeah. actually gonna kill nobody. Yeah, right. We're just gonna hit your ass with the truth. That's all we have. Which is plenty. Yeah, go, if we kill anybody, that'll lock us up. Well, we are killing them. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're killing the spirits. Yeah, we're killing the spirits. Kill, what's that song? Killing them softly? <laughs> yeah, look at Lord here. Okay. Well, think. she covered yeah, it. Here. She covered it. Yeah. That was, I forget who it did it originally. Yeah, I tried. I tried. I forgot. I just remember her version was so good. Penny Ripperton did Penny. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I forgot she did that. Okay, a lot of artists do that shit these days because they have no artistic ability. Some covers are good, bro. It's you know, good to cover some shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. The song just be so good you want to sing it. Oh man, I found a picture that was from 1971, 72 from this song. Um, this uh, a background singer, they let her come out with her own album. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of them singers. Damn, dude almost got hit. That's good. Yeah, he walking like a. That was the cover of her album right here. That's the cover of her album. He saw Home the Hill. Uh, get out of here. Yeah. That's the cover of her That's album. Great. Yeah. Try to get her that album is deep as hell, too, though. Try to get that on camera. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, it's alright. It's hard to see. It's, it's so dark. And it could be dark outside to see. Yeah, I got this tablet now, though. It's at, you know, I got my own, got the internet. I don't need the Wi-Fi. I mean, I went at a video. That takes too goddamn long. You know what I mean? But you know, I, I listen to a lot of radio. The radio ain't got no visuals at all. And that's my favorite shit. It's just speaking. You know what I mean? How much is the card for the Wi-Fi? I don't know, it's just, they give you so much internet to use. Not much, like three gigs or something. I don't know, my wife I know, they got like... I don't care, I ain't never worried about going shit. over because I'm always on the Wi-Fi anyway. They, they should have free, everybody pays so much goddamn taxes and all, they take so much money from you. There should be free internet for the whole world, man. There should be free water, there should be free internet, Every, you know what I mean? All those basic necessities, free food, everything, all, all that basic shit should all be free. It don't cost nothing for them to beam them signals out there. They charge you ridiculous prices. You're getting yeah. charged for the control over it. Yeah. Right, and then they want to control your ass when you get the internet. It's coming though, that control's coming. They get, they, see, they get mad because everybody's on the internet communicate with each other. Yeah, we're looking for information, yo. Yeah. Yep. If you still get all your news and information from the cable TV, you live in a fucking stone age, okay? You're, you're fucking, you're a goner. Well, we, well, they wouldn't even know watching this video. They watch it. They, they, they're too stupid to use YouTube. They got like five stories they talk about on mainstream media. The same five stories on 200 channels. Yeah, yeah I can't take that shit. Bro. I don't, I can't watch none of that shit. I'm all, I get all my news straight off the internet. Here we go. Dabu 7. Dabu 7. Dabu 7 is out of his fucking mind. He believes in reptilians and all kinds of shit. <laughs> so you don't watch Dabu 7? No. Like, hey guys, it's Dabu 7. Eyes to know. the sky. Eyes to the sky. You don't know about Dabu 7? I probably do. This world underground news. <laughs> yeah, just look up Dabu 7. Guys, I got breaking news here. Stayed up all night to make this video. So this motherfucker's crazy. But he'll bring out, actually, he'll bring out some good information, though. Right. He'll bring out a lot of bad information. <laughs> you gotta sift through that shit. Alex Jones uses his oh, headlines. He lives right here. He lives in Ohio, in Cincinnati. But he, he, called, he claims to be a Christian. And he, he's nuts. Yeah, but I, I watch Dabu 7, though. I watch all kind of crazy shit, man. Got you, bro. Yeah. Watch everything. Just do that bullshit. Yeah, we know about all the crazy conspiracy theories. Right, right. So, y'all about to take that microchip? You gonna get microchip, get your baby microchip? <laughs> they clueless, like, what microchip? What is he talking I about? I already got it. Yeah. Yeah. like Esau people to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they are distributing their chip now. Like Esau. Esau? <laughs> you look like someone out the Parches family. Look at those sandals. That's definitely a Edomite. That's fucking Esau right there. Dude looked like he just came out of survival. <laughs> oh, what? No, that dude over there looked like he just won Survivor. Oh, you see that dude died the other day that was that one Survivor and he died of 
been a train accident or something? Hell no. He, he wasn't no survivor. survivor. Yeah. He ain't no survivor. <laughs> right, right. He ain't survived that That's shit. That's some funny shit, man. Because you chipped the most high, man. He's going to come get your ass. Okay, okay. That survivor's some foul shit they oh, be doing no, on that show. Oh, God. be selling each other out just to stay on this show. You see the one where they be decking? The show where they be decking? This one that's out in the wilderness that's right next to I don't, I didn't watch cable TV in years. That's amazing, man. Really? The only cable TV I watch is the... Uh, What's on YouTube? The only thing I watch is Game of Thrones and Vikings. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, you know, I, I'll be watching them cable stations on VIP box, you know? Oh, yeah. They got you know, it on VIP? Oh, they got every channel. They got every channel. I never got it to work. I thought it was just I tried it. It never worked. They got everything. Oh, my God. Like, I'm always watching it. I'm watching Stubby Channel, I've been watching all that. We watch it from wrestling on it, man. Pay per view. We watch it, yeah. Yeah, because I'll be watching the History Channel, Discovery Channel. I'll be watching HBO, Showtime. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I got HBO. That's about the only channel I do watch. Wait, HBO Game of Thrones. You gotta watch that shit. That's a bad shit. There's this shit, True Blood. It's about vampires. Son, just, just finish up season four. Yeah, yeah, it's good though to have all them episodes you can just watch. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like to do anyway. There's a lot of that shit on Game of Thrones. The creator of David uh, uh, Game of Thrones is a so-called Jew. Shit, I watched the first four seasons of. So, Walking Dead in three days. Oh yeah, that's a good show too. That's why I lost contact with you Walking Dead. Oh yeah, I forgot shit. about that. That's a bad show, that, man. That Game of Thrones is all based on real history. Mm -hmm. And the writer even tells you really? that. Yeah. So, so that because it's like the most popular show, but the average fool that watches that show, mm -hmm. they don't understand 75 percent of the stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. The only thing they like is the titties and mm -hmm. the killing. Mm -hmm. But there's so much stuff based on real history. You know what I'm saying? Based on the Bible, based on all kind of stuff. Like, like that, that show, if you're a scholar and you watch that show, you'll notice a lot of stuff the average person won't see. Same thing with Lord of the Rings and all kind of other shit. You know what I mean? Uh, go ahead. You know uh, J.R.R. Tolkien? This dude dumb as fuck riding down the street with no handlebars. You know J.R.R. Tolkien? The writer of Lord of the Rings? Which Game of Thrones is heavily influenced by Lord of the Rings, right? Gerald Tolkien, he said the Bible's 100% true. And he spoke like 50 languages. He could read runes, he could read, speak Hebrew, Latin, all that. Oh, go ahead. Oh, what was you reading? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. I'm talking oh, about, Lord, I'm talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about our favorite TV show, doing vlogs. I, you go read that book, The Silmarillion. That's some bad shit. Go read that book. Oh, there's this new fucking TV show out. It's called uh, Something in the Magic Book. No, it's uh, The Book of Pure Evil. It's in like at this high school. The high school is Crowley High, and it's got a pentagram with the goat in the middle. It's a TV show called, I don't know, something about the book of pure, Todd and the book of pure evil. <laughs> they go to Crowley High School and they got the lamb. See, Crowley High School, Alistair Crowley. See the average. And all the teachers are the ones behind the scenes of the cult with this magic book, like having these kids do these mind control shit. Wow. And see, the average person out here does not know who Alistair Crowley is. It's Crowley. And shit like that in every TV show you watch. The all kind of devil worshiping shit. Like that other show you uh, used watching, uh, Supernatural. That oh, goes yeah. into a lot of... Uh, One of the main uh, dudes of evil's name is Crowley. See? But the average retard that watches that, they don't know what's going on. They think it's just making a name up out of nowhere. No, it's just all based on worshiping the, the devil. Because Aleister Crowley is one of the biggest faggots, the biggest devil worshippers to ever walk the face of the earth. Mm. Okay, he used, to, he used to make his girlfriend have sex with a goat. Oof. While the goat was fucking his girlfriend, he would slice the goat's throat and kill it so he could snatch his spirit and use it for uh, witchcraft and magic. That's, why Alistair, that's who Aleister Crowley is. And, and it's kind of funny how he used a goat. Yeah, he used a goat. Well, he liked to rape little boys, too. Mm -hmm. Expect that. He preferred to rape little boys over girls. That's a That's how you know the Lord exists. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yep
bird. <laughs> She's fucking beautiful. Hair cover, head cover, and everything. She got her head covered. We're going off now, you know. Well, she she wearing jeans. But yeah. she don't know no better. She's a woman. She's a woman. Right. She don't know no better. She probably, she might be a Christian. We didn't even ask her, did we? Cause like I said, not all Arabs are fucking Muslim. You, you got the Catholic Christians, even though they going off, they're not teaching the real truth. But you got you got people who believe in the New Testament all through the Arab world. That's why them so-called Jews is always killing them Palestinians. Yeah, that's what's going on now. There's the Christians fleeing one way. Up in Syria. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they stay, yeah. they are killing Christians. Hey, here go the Mormon hosts. They, uh, you got Muslims over there. The United States uh, is backing those ISIS terrorists in Iraq. Yeah. And they over there killing Christians in Iraq. Right now as we speak, the United States government funds all the terrorists. Don't you know that? They, where did the terrorists get Stinger missiles from? The ISIS terrorists got Stinger missiles from the United States government. Because the United States government are the terrorists. They are your enemy. They, 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 they could have created Al-Qaeda. The CIA created Al-Qaeda, okay? And it's not, the, 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 the United States government hates Israelites. They, they hate us. They want to kill us. Hell yeah. You know, but we got a solution for that, though. They're called thermonuclear missiles. Oh, yeah, missiles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, Russia got some missiles for your ass. The Most High really created those missiles. Man was, didn't create missiles by itself. The Most High gave them that knowledge. Just so they could just destroy the motherfuckers. Mm. What's that scripture in Jeremiah that dismissed? That's what I was saying. I'm in Jeremiah. Oh, that? Yeah. Uh, is it 49? No, I thought it was like 54 or something. I ain't brought that out in a minute. I don't care. Certain scriptures we used to bring out all the time. It's fine. I think it's 54 or something. That could be wrong. That Jeremiah, Isaiah. It's in Isaiah, Jeremiah. I'll look it up. Jeremiah always go to 52. Well, that, well, I know what you're talking about in Isaiah. But it's something I'm looking oh, for in Jeremiah. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's similar to that. Okay. Well, I get that one too. 